This video will show you how to use the Canvas Inbox. The Inbox is like email, but it's a private messaging system found in Canvas. Canvas messages are called conversations. The first thing you need to do is find your inbox. It is located on the left of your screen. Once you have found it, click on the word one time to open your inbox. When you enter your inbox, you will see a list of all of your past conversations. In this list, you can see who the conversation is with, how many messages there are in the conversation, and a bit of the newest message. If a conversation is new, it will have a black dot on the left side of the conversation. If you are curious about how many new conversations you have, you can look at the number under Inbox. If a conversation isn't new, it will not have a black dot. To open a conversation, click on it. When you do this, the full conversation will appear on the right side of your screen. The newest messages will be at the top, so it's easy to see what the last message is. If you want to reply back to the last message, you can either click on Reply or Reply All and type your message into the window that pops up. When you are done typing your message, click Send to send your message. You will see a message at the top of your screen saying Message Sent. For example, William sent me a message asking me to meet him before class tomorrow. I will open the message and click Reply. Then I will type, Hi William, yes, I can meet with you before class tomorrow. I will meet you in my office at 9.15 a.m., Jody, and then I will click Send. I check the top of my screen and see that the message was sent. Or if you want to send a new message to your teacher, or another student in class, you can do that too. To start a new message, you will click on the Compose icon. It's the icon with a box and a pencil. When you click on this icon, a new window will open. First, you will select your course. Then, you will select the person you are typing the message to. You can select the person by clicking on the folder or by typing someone's name in the box next to To. After adding the person's name, you will add a subject to your message. This will let the person receiving the message know what it is about. Then you will type your message and hit Send. Again, you will see a message at the top of your screen saying, Message Sent. For example, I am going to send a message to a student in the Final Idea Modules course. So, first, I am going to click on Compose. Then, I am going to select Final Idea Modules as my course. Next, I am going to type Chris next to Two, because there is only one Chris in the class. When his name pops up, I am going to click on it. Then I am going to type the subject. Cannot open assignment link in the subject box. Next, I will type the message. Chris, I am having problems opening the Google Slideshow link you shared for your assignment. Can you please check to make sure the link is set correctly and then send me the link again? Thank you, Jody. Last, I hit Send to send the message to Chris and check to see if the message was sent. If you are typing a message 
and decide that you don't want to send it, you can click Cancel. Clicking Cancel will close the message. For example, I started to type a message to Jess asking her to send me the pre-work for tomorrow. But I remembered that she was absent too. So I clicked Cancel and closed the message. If you want to look at messages that you've sent, go to the top of your screen, find the word Inbox, and click on the drop-down arrow. Select Sent. You will see a list of all the messages that you have sent to other people in the course. If you want to view messages from another course, or if you want to view all of the messages you have sent, you can use the course drop-down menu to change to the course you want to view or select all courses. To review, click on the inbox to see the messages that you have received. When the inbox is open, you can click on a conversation to open it and read the message. Then you can click Reply or Reply All and reply to the message. Or you can start a new message using the Compose icon. When you compose a message, remember to select the course. Add the name of the person you are sending the message to and a subject. Then type your message. Whether you are replying to a message or writing a new one, don't forget to click Send. And remember, if you decide you don't want to send a message, you can click Cancel. You can also delete old messages that you do not want or need any longer. To do this, you can open the conversation and click on the trash can icon at the top of your page. You will see a message asking, Are you sure you want to delete your copy of this conversation? This action cannot be undone. If you want to delete the message, click OK. If you don't want to delete it, click Cancel. For example, here I have a message from William. It says, Yo, I don't need to keep this message, so I am going to delete it by clicking on the trash can icon. I see the message and click OK because I do want to delete the conversation. There are some other tools that you can use in the Canvas inbox, and you can explore those. But the other tools are not as important as the inbox tools we reviewed in this video. Now it's your turn to try using the Canvas inbox. You can watch the video again if you need to. You can also ask your teacher if you have any questions or need help.